Hi YouTube, so I'm here to do a video on a DIY pocket and flyleaf insert for my Midori Traveler's notebook. I found this really pretty uh, Sakura, which is a cherry blossom drink uh, card at Starbucks and I thought I could use it uh, for my pocket that I wanted to create. So as you can see here, I just have some cardstock and some scrap pieces of paper that I'm just putting together and I'm kind of layering them and kind of shifting things around and you can just you know get whatever you have in your stash of stuff um, whatever you know colors that you want to piece together anything that you have lying around this one uh, that I'm currently gluing on is actually from a project life card that I have and uh, just kind of piece piecing things together and you know, the colors kind of match and they're all pastel colors, so I decided to uh, put them all together. So now I'm just sticking down the Starbucks card that I got. And then I'm going to trim off some of the excess that I have. And I just wanted to give a shout out and thank you to Palest Blue. Her name is Maria. She has really great YouTube videos on uh, her file facts as well, and she sent me so many uh, nice cardstock. And this really pretty heart uh, vellum paper, this transparent paper that I'm going to now measure to use as a pocket on the back. So I'm just stenciling and tracing out the shape. And then I'm going to use my ruler and X-Acto knife to cut. If you have a paper cutter, of course, that would be easier. Whatever you have on hand, uh, you can use scissors, anything that you have. So now that I've cut it down to size, I don't have any specific dimensions or measurements on the actual pocket that I'm going to make. I just kind of went with my gut feeling. You can do it deeper or longer or shorter as you want. There's really no specific dimensions. And just to confirm, make sure that you have it right side up. And as you can see here, I'm using double-sided tape because I ran out of my uh, glue and I ran out of my uh, tape tape glue. I don't know what it's called, one of the tape glues. So I'm just using double-sided tape and that's totally fine. Use whatever you have on hand. So I'm sticking that down. And as you can see, the pocket is a little bit on the tight end, which is okay. So if I were to make another one, I would probably give it a little bit of leeway. But it still fits in cards and, you know, washi tape samples, some Project Life cards. You can put anything you want really in there. And what I'm demonstrating is if you really want to cover the glued, glued part, you can use washi tape to cover it. And you can see that I cut out a fly leaf according to the size of the notebooks. And I'm just kind of layering it and seeing if it works out. So I have my fly leaf ready there and I also have my pocket that I just created and I decided to use packing tape as my I guess spine and it doesn't have to be the same exact packing tape it could be you know the if you can see in the video I have a different type of packing tape on the top left corner so I'm measuring the pocket and it's about 15 centimeters so I'm just measuring it so that it's the same and once again, my X-Acto knife and ruler. And please be careful when you are cutting. Um, you know, if you are not really familiar with doing so, make sure you do it carefully. And just please be careful. <laughs> so now that I've cut it to the si same size as the pocket, I'm going to just cut it in the middle, which in this case is two and a half centimeters. And you can adjust this, you know, the way you like it to. And just, uh, I decided to do two and a, I just decided to cut it down the half, uh, down the middle, and it was uh, about two and a half. So now I'm kind of layering, laying it down, and I'm going to try my best to stick the the tape right on the edge of the pocket and right on the edge of the clear fly leaf, just so that it creates a bit of a spine. I am going to be using two to three notebooks in my uh, Midori Traveler's notebook. Does that make sense? I'm going to try to use two to three refills, notebook refills. So 
so I, I wanted to have a bit of a uh, a bigger spine, I guess you can say, but you can always change the dimension to your liking. Now I'm trying my best to peel it off nicely, flip it over, take the other half that I cut off and stick it right on top so that it creates a nice sturdy spine. And as you can see I just taped right on the edge and I'm trying to mold it now and I've decided to use some washi tape to cover the brown packing tape. You don't have to, but I thought it would look prettier that way, so that's what I've decided to do. Once again, just kind of molding it down. Right now there's two notebook refills in there. Well, one is like a half a notebook refill that I just created, but I'm going just I decided to slide it in really simple just slide it in and it's the outermost layer and uh, the reason why I'm molding it is because it keeps flipping uh, upwards at this point I decided to put my third notebook refill just to see how it would fit all together and I don't seem to like the fact that the the pocket is flipping open so I've decided to slide it right behind my first pocket that I have there and so now it becomes the second pocket I hope that makes sense I hope I'm not confusing you <laughs> so I have my first pocket envelope that I have I have a separate video for that if you like I will link it below and I'm just showing you that you can put whatever you want in there some knickknacks that you find throughout the day some receipts some washi tape samples, journaling cards, whatever you have, you can put in there. You can never have enough pockets. And then on the back, there is the fly leaf, and you can put post it notes, stickers. I think I will put post it notes. Uh, I really like to use them throughout the day. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much. See you next time.